Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Tuesday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters that we may inherit and merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble, like this child, is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. To become the greatest is to become a small child. Why? Children have their qualities and their defects. They are intellectually and emotionally immature. But children have some precious qualities which they often lose as they grow up. They're born free of prejudice and they're totally open to learning. It is this quality that we need to enter the reign of God. To be totally open and free of prejudice when it comes to listening to God. To be fully teachable and malleable and flexible then we are ready to receive everything that God wants us to have and to become everything God wants us to become. Furthermore, to welcome a person who has these qualities in Jesus' name is to welcome Christ himself. From that, the gospel moves on to another related consideration. It skips a passage which deals with those who cause others to fall into sin and the real kind of punishment such people deserve, but instead it moves from children to the little ones. These little ones are not just children, but the weaker ones in the community, and they may be adults. But they're the ones who can very easily be led astray by the bad example which others may give. And there are severe penalties for doing this as mentioned in this omitted passage. This is emphasized by the parable of the lost sheep. God is compared to a shepherd who has lost just one sheep out of a hundred. And when he finds it, he is happier than all the other 99 which have not strayed away. Such, the gospel concludes, is the desire of God that not even one of the little ones be lost. Something to ponder. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him. 
Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer. And let us pray. May your sacred and divine word that we have contemplated and embraced save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a little aside, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and also pass it on to your friends and relatives as well. God bless and have a great day.